My name is Ben White, and I'm a full-time paragliding instructor in Salt Lake City, Utah. This episode of Flying Doodles is a happy accident. I was passing through Salt Lake City and just happened to camp at one of the most popular paragliding sites in the United States. I went out to take some video and ran into Ben, who is a paragliding instructor, and he offered to show me what it was all about. Next thing I knew, we had a tandem rig on, and we're going for a flight. So let's talk to Ben and learn what this sport is all about. My name is Ben White and I've been a lifelong skier. For my 21st birthday, I went for a skydive after deciding that being in the air is amazing. I asked my friend Zach, what is my best option? And he said, you live in Salt Lake City. That has one of the best places in the whole wide world to learn. So you learn to paraglide. You can jump out of an airplane anywhere. So I thought, paragliding, that sounds cool. Hike up, fly off a mountain. That's like all my dreams coming true. So I, about five years ago, I learned how to fly, started learning how to fly. And then two years ago, I got hired by the guy who taught me to fly to teach for him. And this year, that same guy encouraged me to start my own paragliding school. So it's been a wild turn of events that has just been a big smile the whole way through. I call my paragliding school White Cloud Adventures. Paragliding is magic, and we have a glider. Think of a sailplane or a paper airplane. It, all it does is go forwards and down, and we can turn it left and right with a very high degree of precision. Think of it like surfing invisible waves. We get to position the glider in rising air, those are kind of the waves, and go up, and people will go up to 17, 18,000 feet, and glide and use those thermals, the lift, to glide. The Utah State record is 204 miles. I think the world record is 311 in one single day. So it really is magic. It's quite incredible. So people can stay up for quite a long time. Anything from 30 seconds, quick, simple flights from top to bottom to I think that world record flight was 11 hours of airtime. People bring snacks, they bring ways to uh, relieve themselves, they bring oxygen, all sorts of fun toys. There are a number of factors that attract people to paragliding. The simplicity of it, uh, the fun, um, the, the kind of the unlimited imagination style. There are people that do ridiculously high-end acrobatic flying. There are the people that fly huge numbers, big distance, and there are some people that just claim a uh, back and forth along the ridge soaring site, the hill, and they go to work afterwards. My favorite thing is the, the simplicity of hike and fly. I can pack two wings in a suitcase and go to a different country on an airplane and choose my favorite one for the day and go, hike up a mountain and fly down and it's just amazing. So is it expensive? A uh, whole kit, brand new, usually runs about 5,500 bucks for a harness wing and reserve. Instruction, depends on how big you can take it, but usually what I quote potential students is for all the instruction you could want and a whole set of good gear, it's about seven or 8,000 bucks. Every student comes to the table with a different background and to be able to draw on the experience of flying airplanes or sailing boats or skiing a lot or any sort of degree of athleticism and motion is usually a faster learning curve than somebody who's only ever played checkers in their life. For sure, pulling left and pulling right, you people only need about five pounds of brake pressure authority. So doing this for about five pounds, it's kind of all anybody needs. But the, the true learning is more of learning when to fly and more important than that, when not to fly and tuning into different conditions and how different forecasts play out and which hills are good to fly off of and which hills aren't and tapping into the community of other pilots that can show you a different place to fly and uh, new tricks and tips. And so that's kind of the lifelong learning process. It's, it's quite amazing. The general clientele learning to fly right now are actually empty nesters. They've dreamed about flying their whole life and paragliding is a very new activity. 8,000 bucks is pretty all in. 
and that's much less expensive than flying an airplane or a helicopter. And so people raise their kids, they kick their kids out of the nest, they have some disposable income, and at the age of 50 years young, 60 years young, they come to the hill and learn to fly. But uh, a lot of people come in their mid-20s, uh, 30s, 40s. There's a huge, huge spread of ages and, and professions that come and learn to fly. A lot of people come to the hill and maybe their best friend is going for a tandem flight and we say, do you wanna, do you wanna come too? We'll take you, you know? And they go, oh, I'm afraid of heights and I could never do that. And the heights thing is pretty funny. What we notice is that many people are afraid of a sudden impact rather than a high height because they don't trust the system. And somebody with a poor track record of balance, somebody who identifies as clumsy, for sure, they don't really trust their own system of feet to keep them upright on the edge of a cliff. But we have a nice seat harness. It's a sitting harness with some leg straps and a waist strap, and it feels very secure. And we get to feel like we are secure before we go and fly. So to that end, many people will say, I'm afraid of heights, but I'll do it. And they're sitting in the seat and their feet just come off the ground and they don't even know that we're flying. And they go, wow, that was amazing. I didn't feel like I was high and about to fall off at any point in time. And so that's a pretty fun one. So a typical progression for a student is to come to the hill and see if they just like the idea of what's going on. Just watch. And that might be 30 seconds, or they might have been brought by a friend for a couple of days, and suddenly they just decide, it's time for me to try this out. And usually I start them off with some ground handling. If conditions support a tandem, then we'll go do that and see if they like their feet in the air and thinking in three dimensions. But the ground handling thing is key. It's very important to have a decent sense that, that the glider is gonna stay open and overhead during launch. And then after that, flying is super easy. You just look to where you wanna go and fly. Flying is relatively simple. Look left, lean left, go left. That's about it. But after a bunch of ground handling and, and building an instructor-student relationship, then we go to the training hill and get some baby flights in that is basically short, fly, get the feet in the air, practice landing. And then after that, we go a little bit higher on the training hill, inflate, turn around, launch, and maybe have a little bit of a turn to one direction or the other, square up directly into the wind, land. And then after that, usually flying off the top, flying in traffic, flying higher, tapping into more lift, doing some circles and very gentle maneuvers, and from then on, it's just game on. All of my students, get they get a radio, and I coach them from the ground, try to coach them into the correct moves so that they keep everybody's blood pressure low. Okay, well, thanks so much. You're welcome. All right. Okay, getting ready to go here. He, he's gonna set up, I got my helmet, and get all going. I'm a little nervous. At our basic briefing, uh, the two most important things I do is don't screw up, let him do it. <laughs> no, I uh, keep looking at the horizon and uh, stay on my feet. One, two, three. Wow, oh wow. Yeah, we're flying. <laughs> oh my god. Woo! Wow, this is so cool. Yeah, this is really awesome. The next move is you can actually sit back deeper in the harness a little bit. Okay. Oh yeah, all right. Oh, there that's really go. comfortable. Yeah. And I imagine when you got like the guys with their feet like straps and all that or, yeah. Oh Let's wow. Look left, lean left, ready, set, left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Woo. So can you actually stall these out? Or oh, I mean, yeah. 
Yeah? <laughs> so you don't want to do that. It's kind of like stalling a jet. Yeah, yeah. Some people do it as an acro move. Oh. How you doing? I'm good, man. A little scary. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, no, thank you. This is great fun. Oh, yeah. And you do this pretty much every day? Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> and the visibility up here is pretty amazing. Yeah. Oh, man. You want to drive for a moment? Switch? Uh, Actually, go. Yeah, no, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I'll let you do it. Visibility is a little better, <laughs> yeah. and uh, you know it's. I mean, I, I, it can't really. I mean, it almost feels like you're like uh, on a carnival ride or something. You know Are what I mean? Flying? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty amazing. I, this is cool though. I can see how this is addictive though. Oh my gosh. I mean, people do this once, just go on one tandem, and then they're booked. And then that's it. Yeah. All right, so we're getting down low, which means we're kind of getting into landing mode. Okay. Which means uh, you can keep that whole thing running, but you'll put your arms out front again. Okay, when do you want me to do that? Uh, in a couple turns. All right. And then I'll dump you forwards, and you go, whoa. Okay. And uh, all I need you to do is eyes on the horizon. All right, yeah. And uh, legs down, ready to kind of land, absorb a little impact. Okay. Okay, fine. <laughs> yeah, all right. And, uh, And, all right, put your arms out front now. Okay. Oh, and oh. forwards, just like launch. All right. Eyes on the horizon. Yep, big smile. <laughs> and this looked kind of fast, but you just smile about it. All right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Yeah, buddy. That was awesome. <laughs> Hopefully now we get a ride back to the top. <laughs> well, all right. Way to go. Hey, thank you, sir. Yeah. All right, that was great. Anybody uh, thinking about doing it? It's uh, White Cloud, uh, White, White Cloud? White Cloud Adventures, Adventures yeah. Dot com, all right. Well, let's do it up. Cool, this is a really pretty neat experience. Quite the climb back up, but definitely worth it. Sorry the wind died. <laughs> hey, it's all right. <laughs>